god, look how ashy I am. Hold the phone. <laughs> that is like ridiculously embarrassing to have some ashy freaking hands. So that has some coconut oil. If you ladies don't have no coconut oil at home, you are out of the goop because coconut oil is and you smell good. And it makes your tattoos look uh nice and shiny. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Candy, and today we are doing a different video, which is this is the beauty community tag. I got this idea from a channel on YouTube that I watched a video on, and her name is Kat, and the name of her channel is called Rented Fashion. I really did like the idea. I thought that was pretty awesome. Again, I'm a newcomer in all this, so I kind of want to get my perspective and see maybe how you guys like it. If you are new here, welcome. <laughs> If you are returning fam and then welcome as well family I appreciate you coming back and clicking on this video and watching your girl candy land over here work her stuff let's just go ahead and dive into the questions what are your favorite videos to watch duh they gotta be makeup <laughs> makeup has to be probably the top number one thing I watch on YouTube besides makeup um, it's skincare stuff and besides skincare it's like the most random things like if I want to see a music video how to make something or to get a different idea but the majority of what I watch on YouTube is makeup tutorials now I am in two different Facebook groups which help you know us creators come together and we can watch each other's stuff and kind of support each other. Now on that I do watch different things and it actually doesn't bother me because it does kind of broaden my spectrum of like what's out there in YouTube. It's pretty cool. What are your favorite videos to film? I do like doing the skincare but I don't know if you guys want to see the skincare so I don't really do that much skincare. Favorite videos to film will have to be probably like a whole look like just including the face like you know everything eyes face lips kind of can like doing the whole shebang together what are your least favorite videos to watch um the least favorite i honestly don't think i have a least favorite i think if it's not what I wanted to watch, at least it's something I'm learning because you can always learn from it. The first thing I gravitate toward, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my least favorite would be. If it was my least favorite, then I probably wouldn't watch it, right? I don't think I have one because every single time I watch something, even if it's something I'm not 100% wanting to watch, I learn from it and I can either apply that to my life or apply it to somebody else's life. So I don't think I have one, but yeah what is your favorite part of the beauty community my favorite part would be as much as i didn't know about this community the minute i stepped in everybody was pretty much open arms to me everybody is everybody is wanting to help everybody at least sometimes that we're a community um i don't have a lot of people in my daily life that i can communicate makeup and beauty to I have friends but the majority of them are in Alaska and then some of them are here but I'm so busy at home and with Oliver that I don't really get a chance to see them and even if we do we're, we don't have that same like thirst of love of like makeup and beauty like I do. So I think finding a community that has that same passion and so much thirst and so much like wanting to get further in life and it's based off of makeup and beauty. I think that's what I really love about this community is that everybody has their own version of it. Everybody has their own way of doing it. Everybody has their own way of feeling beautiful and confident and you guys are more than willing to help each other too. So I think between those two, those are probably the my favorite reasons why I like the beauty community. What is your least favorite part? The least favorite would have to be fakers. Like, I'm not a faker. I don't want to be fake. I don't try to tend to be fake. Like, I really want to be honest about my opinion about like what I don't like. I don't like the fake stuff because if I really want people who want to be a part of my fam on YouTube and on Instagram because you guys want to be my fam and vice versa like I want to be part of your fam just like you want to be part of my fam and I don't want to feel like I'm getting forced to do it because then I'm not really 100% behind you or with it. I don't know if that makes any sense. What motivated you to start your channel? Well I started my channel first a good couple years ago and I did that because I had my business my makeup business and I really wanted to get connected with more of my customers and just meet new people like I'm doing now 
But then a lot of family stuff happened and I couldn't stay on top of the editing and filming. Then I had to learn everything and plus I was doing Adobe. I was doing a lot of stuff that I did not know 100% in. And I wasn't giving my 100% all in that. So because everything wasn't going so right with me personally, I decided to take a step back from actually doing the um, YouTube channel and stuff like that. Now, within the last couple months, I was like, you know what? Oliver is born. I'm not going to have my little outlet to do what I want to do to kind of like show my free spirit. And I really want to do my 30s doing something that I love doing. So why not just go ahead and take it full hand? And ever since then, I've been doing it. So I just kind of wanted to put my version of my art to show you guys. And I know sometimes it's a little bit much for a lot of people. And I get that. Not everybody can likes the colors that I choose or wear the things that I put on my face. I totally get that. And I appreciate you guys watching it because not a lot of people would. So I guess that's the reason why I started it because I just wanted to show out my art and just do the thing that I love doing, which is this baby. I love doing this thing. Who most inspires you on YouTube? Um, my black ladies. I gotta give it out to my black ladies, my black YouTubers. Um, the main three that I can think of automatically off the top of my head would be Alyssa Ashley. And if you're a Jackie fan, you, you're singing that song in your head right now, like I am. <laughs> and uh, Makeup Shayla. I think all these ladies have started in the makeup world, and they were just like, F to the man, I was taking away my money, and I'm going to do it myself. And those three ladies kicked ass, and they're still kicking ass, and have done amazing collaboration. That they inspire me to not give up, because just because I'm late in the game doesn't mean... I shouldn't be in the game right because I think I'm older than all of them I think I'm older than all of them actually so that's pretty much that they inspire me they're black women who have incredible funny intelligent thorough I love it what's the number one thing you would change about the YouTube beauty community I don't know um I guess I'd just be more honesty and maybe not being afraid to take more risks Especially when it comes to brands that maybe not cater to women of color. Um, brands that, you know, are kind of shady behind their back with the customers and things like that. I think I'd just be more supportive. I think it's supportive, but not the way that you would like it to be supportive. I guess to be more honest and more friendly, like we're all here to be on YouTube. It's not like all of us can't make it the way that we want to make it. It's not going to hurt anybody. So the number one advice for other creators or new people starting out a channel. Do you? Don't let anybody else tell you what you should or should not do or what you look like or what you shouldn't look like or whatever. Okay. I personally have grown so much from this. And I've been told by so many people that A, I don't need to do this. B, I don't need to be looking like that. C, I don't need to be wearing that lip color. D, I don't need to be having no hair. I need to have something. Someone's always going to say something. To me, if you're going to do this, you need to be brave. Pretty much say, Thank you, because it doesn't matter. I'm do you, I'm going to do me. And I think you just be a little bit brave and just do you, boo-boo. Do you. You are going to be the only one to stop yourself. So if you want this and you want to like just do your videos and be happy and just do whatever you want to do. Candyland is all about that because I would want that for you and I want that for me as well. So that would be my one thing. Just be you. Don't be afraid. It's okay. We all hold our own hand and we did it and you could do it too. I promise. I promise you. And the last question which is number 10. What do you love about YouTube as a whole? I think what I love about YouTube is that it's a community for people with the same likes and hobbies. And you can also find things that you didn't think you could possibly find on YouTube. And it's all in this little hub and we're all trying to make it in our own little way. Even if it's one video a week, three videos a week, zero subscribers to a million subscribers. We are just doing this thing because we want to show you our version of our content, whatever that category is, and that's amazing. I mean, I can literally find Micah being on YouTube for like hours. I'm like, what are you looking at? None. <laughs> that's his answer. None. 
my son too he does the exact same thing like what are you looking at mm -hmm. it's just like a random stuff that you could find the things that you interest you and it's all in one little hub and it's it's amazing it's a little scary because there's so many things out there and there's so many people but that's the internet you know it's the thing you gotta kind of get over with but I do love the fact that it's a community of other creators coming together to show content that they wanted to show you how to do it's never been like that before so it's I think it's pretty awesome it's scary it's fun it's exciting but it's freaking it's pretty cool it's pretty cool so anyway that is the end of the questions I hope you guys like my answers. This has been fun. Uh, I also hope you guys like the... Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. I do appreciate your love and support. Again, if this is your first time here, then you might as well go ahead and click on that, baby. You might as well go ahead and click on that subscribe button. You know why? Because you made it all the way here. You pretty much are like, I like that lipstick. What is she wearing? Where did she get that necklace? You're probably thinking a lot of things about me. That's okay. You can think that, but go ahead and click. And you also can't forget to put that notification bell so you know when I put a new video down. If you're my attorney fam, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, baby. I will catch you guys at the next video. So remember to stay beautiful, feel beautiful, be beautiful, and I will catch you at the next video, guys. And yeah. Bye.